at this point, it's difficult to overstate just how huge of a success Barbie is. Now, of course, last week, Barbie became the number one opening weekend of the year, beating out uh, Mario Brothers, scoring $162 million at the box office. Okay, great. Now, the opening weekend projections was 85 to 100, scored 162. Now, normally, movies that open that big will take like a 50 to 60, to even 65% drop in the second weekend because so many people went to go see it opening weekend. So, how did Barbie do? Barbie took a, get this, 43% second weekend drop. 43. That is so much lower of a drop than was expected. And it made, get this, $93 million in its second weekend. Think about this. The opening weekend projections for Barbie was 85 to 100. Barbie's second weekend just scored near the top of the range of what its opening weekend forecast was. Okay, you want to put it even to more context? Take a look at this. The second weekend of Barbie would be number seven on the biggest opening weekends of the year. Okay, so Barbie holds the number one spot at 162 million. Barbie, or sorry, the Super Mario Brothers at number two with 146. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse at number three with $120 million opening weekend. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 with $118 million opening weekend. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania with $106 million opening. The Little Mermaid at number six with a $95 million opening. And then above films like Creed, John Wick, Transformers, others, Barbie's second weekend would be in the number seven spot, would be in the number seven spot of the opening weekend charts with 93. Mario Brothers' second weekend was a smash success as well with 92. It would have been the number eight film and the number nine biggest opening weekend if you counted Barbie and Mario's second weekends would have been Oppenheimer at 82 and John Wick chapter four at 73. It is really, really important to grasp just how big of a deal this is. Because not only does it have the biggest opening weekend of the year, and not only does it have the biggest second weekend of the year, Barbie's second weekend is the seventh biggest second weekend in the history of the film industry. All right, take a look at this list. Now, obviously, the number one domestic box office film of all time is Star Wars The Force Awakens, so it's not surprising that it's the number one second weekend of all time. It made $149 million on its second weekend. Avengers Endgame made $147 on its second weekend. Avengers Infinity War made $114. Black Panther, a lot of Marvel and Star Wars here. Uh, Black Panther made $111 on its second weekend. Jurassic World made $106. The first Avengers made $103, and there we go. In the number seven spot, Barbie making 93. And of course, just also repping 2023 is the Super Mario Brothers, which made and a super impressive $92 million as well. It would be the number eight biggest second weekend in the history of Hollywood. Guys, I think sometimes these types of numbers and these types of stats come at us and, and we really don't grasp the significance of them. We hear a lot of numbers, 100 million, a billion, number four, number 12. But just think about this. In the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of films that have come out and have had second weekends, Barbie just scored the seventh biggest in history. And as we go over and look at Barbie, it is now in 10 days, look at this, made $774 million. Now, Right now, I'm not, I'm still not willing to say this thing's going to catch Mario Brothers. But you know that song and dance I've been having? It's like, yeah, I mean, Barbara's a huge sex. I don't know that I see it hit a billion. Yeah, forget that. Forget that. It's hitting a billion. Barbie will be the next billion dollar film. It will be the newest member of the jacket wearing billion dollar club. It's going there. Now, I, I'm not necessarily saying it'll catch Mario. At, that's at 1.3 billion. But right now, after 10 days of 774 million, it is pacing ahead of Mario. It's, it's, it's pacing ahead of Mario. <laughs> I think this is ridiculous. A little bit of anecdotal stuff. I played a little poker this weekend. Played a little bit of poker. And I'm sitting down at a table with a bunch of older guys playing some poker at this, uh, at this casino. And a number of them were all talking about how 
like one guy started by saying, I just can't get, get used to it, guys. My daughter now has blonde hair. It's like, what? Yeah, my daughter's blonde hair. She's never had blonde hair, but she saw Barbie and got so inspired. She went out to the hairdressers and got it. I'm not kidding you guys. This is a true story. This is how she went out and got her hair dyed blonde for Barbie. And that started the succession about how all their wives and all their daughters and all their family have dragged them out. They had all seen Barbie with the exception of one guy. There was one guy at this table who hadn't seen Barbie. All of them had seen Barbie. All of them had. Like, it is absolutely phenomenal the type of success this thing is having. And I still don't have an, an explanation for it. See, people throw out, well, it's the nostalgia factor. Listen, a lot of movies with nostalgia factor have come out and not done nearly this well. And I'm sure that's a part of it. I'm sure part of it is Ryan Gosling's star power. I'm sure part of it is Margot Robbie's star power. But, 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 you know, Margot Robbie's star power, she's, we recently did a thing where we looked over her last, like, five, six films. Ain't none of them had done a huge box office. It's not, it's not like Margot Robbie, who is a world-class actress, is necessarily this massive box office draw. That may change after Barbie. But, oh, my God, a 43% second weekend drop for a second weekend total that is at the top end of its opening weekend projections, the biggest second weekend of the year, and its second weekend would have been the number seven biggest opening weekend of the year. Guys, it's, you can't overstate it. This thing is a ridiculous success. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? This Barbie train that some people kind of thought might slow down after that big th has no signs of slowing down whatsoever. The fact that it will cross a billion dollar mark is now inevitable. I didn't think it would initially, but the numbers are the numbers. It's going to cross a billion. Now the question becomes, will it catch Super Mario Brothers at that $1.3 billion mark? Maybe yes, maybe no. We went to go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this week, and there was a lot of people in that theater in pink, Ray. Yeah. A lot of people in that theater. Not, not our, our theater watching the screen, but in that foyer of that theater. A lot of people wearing pink. <laughs> what kind of legs can this thing have? Can it catch Mario Brothers? Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you do the standard like and subscribe thing. And also don't forget, we have a daily podcast known as the John Campus Show podcast. You can find it on your favorite podcasting app of choice, like Apple or Spotify. Go subscribe to it today.